Tuberculosis, commonly called TB, is a contagious bacterial infection primarily affecting the lungs, although it can also target other parts of the body. TB is caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis that replicates in the lungs, triggering an immune response that forms a small, hard nodule called a tubercle. Individuals with healthy immune systems may heal this initial lesion and develop latent TB before any signs or symptoms of the illness occur. The tubercle may calcify and remain dormant for many years, but over time or during immunocompromised states, it can spread to other areas of the lung or to other organs. Risk factors for TB infection include a compromised immune system, close contact with someone who has active TB, or traveling to areas with high incidence of TB. Drug-resistant TB has developed in many areas of the world, causing a significant and deadly treatment problem. Common signs of active TB include a persistent cough lasting more than two weeks, hemoptysis, and pleuritic chest pain. Systemic symptoms include fever, night sweats, and unexplained weight loss. Individuals with active TB infection can spread the disease through airborne particles that are released when they cough or sneeze. The tuberculin skin test is used to screen individuals for exposure to TB. Tuberculin protein is injected just beneath the skin, usually in the forearm. The test is read 48 to 72 hours later to check for induration at the injection site. A positive reaction indicates exposure to TB or the BCG vaccine, but does not confirm active disease. A chest X-ray may be ordered to determine lung involvement, but it cannot differentiate between active and latent TB. Further testing is needed to determine if the infection is active or latent, such as interferon gamma release assays for detecting an immune response specific to TB, sputum cultures, or nucleic acid amplification tests. Medical interventions for TB aim at treating the infection and preventing its spread. Treatment regimens typically involve a combination of antibiotics taken for an extended period of time. Antibiotics include isoniazid, rifampin, ethambutol, and pyrazinamide. For drug-resistant TB, longer and more complex treatments may be necessary. Adherence to the full course of antibiotic therapy is crucial to effectively treat the infection and prevent the development of drug resistance. After medication therapy has been initiated, sputum cultures are obtained at specific intervals to monitor the presence of acid fast bacilli and to assess treatment response. Clients are considered infectious until three negative sputum samples have been obtained, typically after approximately three months of treatment. Airborne transmission precautions are implemented for clients with active TB infections in healthcare institutions, including placement in private rooms with special air venting and the use of N95 masks by healthcare workers. Nursing care focuses on administering medications, managing symptoms, and promoting treatment adherence. Nurses may assist in providing directly observed therapy to ensure medications are taken as prescribed to help prevent further development of drug resistance. In evaluating the effectiveness of interventions, nurses look for improved clinical signs such as resolution of cough and normalization of chest X-rays, alongside negative sputum cultures indicating bacterial clearance. Effective treatment is crucial to eradicate TB infection and prevent the worldwide spread of this deadly disease.